All right, big game breakdown. The two matches left at 11 o'clock Pacific, Serbia-Brazil. Brazil minus 220. Draws uh, Serbia 6-1. to one. Draw plus 340. Total is 2.5. And, and Switzerland against Costa Rica. Look at this. I thought Switzerland was a gift. People agree. It's as high as a 65-cent move. They opened $1.30 at William Hill. The Swiss up to $1.90 at William Hill and higher in other spots. Costa Rica, one of the worst teams in the tournament. They've yet to score 5-1, to one, draw plus 2-10, and the total is 2. Group E standings, Brazil 4 points, Switzerland 4 points, Serbia 3 points, Costa Rica already eliminated. Your scenarios here, Brazil advances with a win or a draw. They win the group with a win, either a Switzerland draw or loss to Costa Rica, or by winning the tiebreaker at 7 points. Also wins the group with a draw and a Switzerland loss or draw. Can also advance with a loss, but only if Switzerland also loses and they win the tiebreaker. If it were co come down to it, Brazil has a slight edge over Switzerland at three yellow cards versus four. That's something to watch, too, going into the knockout stage with these guys with the yellow cards with Brazil. Switzerland advances with a win or a draw against Costa Rica. Can win the group by winning and having Brazil draw, lose, or by making up the goal differential. Can also advance with a loss combined with a Brazil loss and winning the tiebreaker. Serbia advances with a win, also can advance with a draw and a Switzerland loss, though they would have to make up the tiebreaker disadvantage. Would either need a Swiss loss by two or more goals or they have a high scoring draw that moves them ahead in goals scored. This is, they do a great job on the broadcast pointing all this stuff out. I know it's convoluted, but uh, you see the hijinks the last two days with these 11 o'clock Pacific matches as Argentina. Nigeria was moving on, and they give up a goal in the 86th minute. Iceland was close. They had so many opportunities. As that, and then what happened with Portugal-Iran, where uh, you thought Portugal was going to win the group, and then they were almost eliminated because Spain scored in the 91st minute, and Iran had a great opportunity after the PK in the 93rd minute, and they almost went on. But to me, I agree with the money on Switzerland as uh, Costa Rica stinks, and they should be able to take them out. They just have to win here, and it's a, a big move. And how big was that comeback when they were down 1-0 against Serbia and also got a goal in stoppage time to win 2-1? to one? Yeah, certainly, okay, we talk about the two matches, you know, Serbia against Brazil today. Brazil, the hype, obviously, with Neymar. Serbia's been pretty good, <laughs> and certainly not a team that I think Brazil is going to walk over to the extent of minus 220 in that ballgame. That or that ball game. I keep saying ball game instead of match. Uh, I don't have the World Cup terminology. I'm not not a natural a World Cup better, but certainly the points you're making about Switzerland and the struggles that Costa Rica has had in this tournament makes a whole lot of sense. Not surprised at all that the Swiss have been bet up <laughs> now from 130 to 190. That's a pretty significant move. Uh, Shakiri <laughs> looking to have another big day for the Swiss as they take on. Is Costa Rica the worst team? I was rooting for them, but they're probably the worst team of the World Cup. Of course, this show filmed and produced every day in Costa Rica with our friends at sportsbookreview.com. The uh, This is convoluted as well, but when they take the pitch, they'll know who already won the other group with Mexico's group. So that's something to look. I mean, imagine as we tape this early on in the morning in Las Vegas, if I'm Brazil, I don't want to see Germany. They, I mean, they embarrassed them seven to one four years ago on uh, on home at their home. So I, I think that'd be something. Do I really want to win the group if I have to take on Germany? So watch how that plays out in the second half. If that's how it falls, I'd rather see Mexico or Sweden as opposed to Germany. Although it beats getting uh, eliminated, but that's something to look at in the second half. These matches are close. If you want to get in play, uh, in play, and bet some unders, or that's something to look at as well. Like the show. Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.